Hey everyone, my name is Sophie from Sophisticated Organization. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. In today's video, we're gonna be covering weeks 17 through 19 of the Sophisticated Declutter. Now, if you're not where we're at yet, make sure to head to the cards above and check out the full Sophisticated Declutter playlist. Start from the beginning and then come meet us back here. Now, if you are at week 17, congratulations. You guys are doing a great job so far. The bathroom is a big category, so we have three full weeks to cover all of our bathroom spaces. Week 17, we're gonna start off with our linen closet and other bath type products. So this is a little bit of a miscellaneous category here, so just kind of use your own discretion. Divide it up how you think is best for you in your bathroom and your spaces. But in this category, we're gonna cover all of your linens. So that means your towels and robes and other things like that that are kept in your bathroom as well as bath products. So think about your soaps and shampoo and conditioner and all of those other fun items that you might keep in your bathroom. So with your towels, you're gonna wanna go through those and make sure that you have the right amount per person in your household as well as a few for guests. A good rule of thumb is to have two sets of towels per person in your house. So each person has their own towel and a backup as well as several for guests. Of course, go through, get rid of ones that are old or stained or ripped, and then you should just be left with the ones that are fresh looking and the correct number for you and your family. Going through the rest of your bathroom products, since this is a miscellaneous category, just separate it as you see best. Using all of our decluttering strategies we've used through the rest of our home. Is it something that you're using? Are you going to use it if you have it? Is it something that's expired? That's something especially important in the bathroom. Is it something that you enjoy? enjoy using if you use it. If you are trying to do something like use cleaner products in your bathroom and have more clean beauty and that type of stuff, does that fit with your lifestyle or is it something that you should be decluttering? So that is all of week 17. Week 18, we're gonna move on to our medicine cabinet and all of your first aid supplies. Medicine cabinet and first aid supplies have their own special rules, especially when it comes to disposal. So when you decide what items that you want to declutter, make sure that you're disposing of these things properly. You can Google how to do this depending on whether it's a prescription item or just another first aid or medication. You don't wanna throw those away in the garbage can, especially if you have small children or something like that, make sure you're taking the proper care with those things. So for the rest of your first aid and your medications, get rid of things that you don't use, medications that were for something that you no longer need anymore, first aid items that you have duplicates of or you're just not using, get rid of those things. Of course, with first aid, make sure you have the items that you would need in case of an emergency. Just because you're not using it here doesn't mean that you should necessarily get rid of it. So if you have like an ice pack or gauze and you don't use it regularly, great job. That means that you're being nice and safe in your home and you haven't had any accidents, but don't necessarily get rid of that, of course, because you haven't used it recently. Week 19 is one of my favorites. It's going to be our cosmetics and makeup. If you didn't take the time to declutter your skincare products in week 17, week 19 is gonna be the time to do that along with the rest of your cosmetics and makeup. A huge thing here is going to be expiration dates. Super important for you not to be using makeup that's expired on your face, especially near your eyes. It can cause rashes, acne, and lots of other issues. So we're gonna to wanna to go through everything and check expiration dates. If you look at the bottom of any of your cosmetic products or on the side, you should see a little jar symbol with a number in it. That actually will show you how many months it lasts after you open it. And I'm gonna leave on the screen here some common time frames for expirations depending on the product that you're using. But always check to see if there is an expiration date actually listed on that product or if there's that little jar symbol that has a number of months, that's really helpful. There are also websites online that you can go look up the actual product that you have. So in the place where you see where an expiration might be, if you just see a bunch of numbers, you can find some websites where you can type in those numbers and those numbers are actually associated with a batch code and the date that it was manufactured. So you can see exactly when that product was made and then hopefully figure out when you purchased it. Of course, if it's from years and years ago, you should probably get rid of it, but you can kind of follow all of those different guidelines and use your best judgment here. Now for the rest of your products, go through all of your makeup brushes here, all of your other cosmetic 
basic type items. And since this is the last week of the sophisticated declutter in the bathroom, make sure you cover everything. Again, using all of those other strategies, it's something that you use. Duplicates here is really important. Do you have too many? Even when we looked at expiration dates, do you have too many blushes that you could reasonably use before they're all going to expire? If you were to use one blush and one blush only, to finish it up would take months and months. And if you have 25 blushes, you're never going to get through all of them. So just get rid of some of them because again, we don't want to use expired products. So now is the time. That's it for weeks 17 through 19. I think this is a pretty big category, at least for me personally, since I have a lot of makeup and I'm guilty of this and I need to do some decluttering myself. Just take it however slowly you want to. Try and divide the way that I suggested. But of course, if that doesn't quite work for you, depending on what your situation is, just divide it the way you see fit for your space. If you guys like this video and you like the sophisticated declutter, you're enjoying it, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until next time, I will see you guys later.